Anything that we need from NDCS, they will accommodate us in every possible way that they can by being in there um, they're giving the apprentices time during their working week to be able to complete the work and then they're making sure that they're available to be able to explain or support them with any of the work they need. When it comes to the observations, they're working with the other outside agencies um, for me to be able to go and do the observations. The challenge that we're facing at the moment is the standards because they use BSL, it's different to written English, so with some of the questions they're finding it a little bit challenging to be able to interpret knowing which bits are the important bits. So this week we've got a meeting with a support worker where we're hopefully going to simplify the standards to hopefully make it a little bit easier for the apprentices to be able to continue with their written work. It's changed a lot, it's opened my eyes up to see that just making a few simple changes um, enables people with hearing impairments to be more involved and for them to feel more as part of a group rather than being isolated from it. Um, it's made me appreciate some of the challenges which they come across in their day-to-day -day life and it's just made me feel that little bit more confident with supporting them, knowing what kind of things I need to be doing. So Rathbone are being very supportive as well in allowing us to have that. We've done some training with NDCS on deaf awareness which we've then taken back into the centres with other staff as well to make sure that we're all keeping up to date with competence to ensure that we can work with any apprentice that requires the support. I would say the employers um, have to make sure they adapt to the needs of the deaf dependent, for example, providing good, clear communication, and also to be aware of access to work, which is government funding, to make sure that anyone who is deaf gets equal access in the website. This is the first time we have recruited a number of different people into the apprenticeship. One of the reasons why we wanted to work with Westbourne was because of their experience in working directly with young people and also because of their flexibility in meeting the needs of the deaf young apprentices. Our youth work apprentices have all been fantastic deaf role models and their experiences have really supported our work across the United Kingdom in making those projects and services that we offer at the best we can.